right, today's an exciting day. Warming up the Jeep, getting my driver, and we're going to put the Mazda in here and start tearing it apart. So we're gonna bring the Jeep over, hook to this bad boy. You're gonna steer? Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna pull it around there and then we're gonna have to shove it in there somehow. Can you drive this? Do you have your license? Start tearing into it. Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, it's about midnight. I'm out here um, starting to tear the car down and get the engine out. And you can hear right now I'm draining the coolant. Fun part of every swap is tearing the car down. Let's get some air. There we go. The coolant looks nice and clear. I did run this car long enough to open the thermostat. It probably sat and ran for about an hour um, and the coolant looked good. So got a little cup of tea out here, burning the midnight oil. Get the radiator so, out, unhook all the wires. I'm not saving any of the factory EFI parts, so I don't really have to worry about which wire goes where. Got some trees growing up through the uh, belly pan. So stay tuned. Um, we're going to have progress going here, get this engine pulled out, and get the Jeep on the operating table. It is day two. Engine is ready to come out. It's a nice rainy morning. Time to get the hoist out and yank this bad boy. This is an exciting step. Um, first part in any engine swap is you gotta get the engine out. And we have been successful. Overall, I'd say this is one of the easier engines I've pulled out. It's very light, very small. Um, it was easy to pull the whole thing out with the transmission attached, which is which makes it nice, I think. And so now I just have a few items off the car I wanna pull off um, that I think I might need. Then we'll roll it out uh, so I can clean up this huge mess I made. Um, kind of regroup, prep the engine, and get ready for the next step. But So I'm going to keep this car out in the yard until the swap's completely done. The engine is out. Started stripping it down, got the shop all cleaned up. So here is what it looks like with most of the unnecessary junk removed. Isn't it cute? So this is a 1991 13B. This is the electric. That's it for today. I'm gonna tuck this thing away, bring the Jeep over into this bay, and start working on that. This engine's gonna be my ignition donor. This is a carbureted 12A. So this has quite a mess of vacuum and all kinds of emissions crap. This was out of an 83 or 84, but there's some good parts on it and a good spare transmission. And then I also have another 13B as a spare over here, which is the exact same as this one in case I need it. Uh, thanks for parts. watching. Next video is gonna be this Jeep getting under the knife and uh, the weather's warm so i'm going to keep chugging on this thing as uh, much as i can thanks for watching let me know if you have any questions and we'll catch you later i do think this is gonna be the first engine i'm actually sad to remove before a swap and here's why and here's why Never mind, get this piece of crap out of here. <laughs>